Mary says, uh, no, I, I need no. some help, please. My PC is quite old, but using Windows 10, uh, 10, I saved a lot of files on my iCloud since I have an iPad and use an iPhone. Lately, none of my files want to synchronize, and it keeps on giving me the message synchronizing pending. I tried a lot of ways to fix this, deleted iCloud and reinstalled, and lost a lot of files that uh, does, do not synchronize. Please, any help? Yeah. Windows 10.1, man, you, your PC is so old. It's just, 10, you know, yeah. it's it's ancient mm. at this point, right? Yeah. No, it's yeah. not. Mm. Okay. <laughs> um, it, it, the thing about it is, is that iCloud, you have to understand that iCloud is like its own thing, mm. right? Yeah. And a lot of people get that confused because I don't know if you remember, like, when we used to have the days of Flickr, when you'd store photos up there and Google Photos and stuff like that. Well, they had to come up with a way to sync those things. But iCloud does its own syncing type of deal, right? It does. And it doesn't work with like OneDrive, you know, it doesn't work with any other type of syncing. It just does its own thing. So when she's talking about that, that the syncing is like, you know, uh, it just gives me the message syncing pending. Um, obviously, that's up into iCloud. I'm a, that's my assumption from what I'm reading, right? She, everything's in, I, in her questions about iCloud. Um, I wish I was an iCloud expert, but, um, you know, th there's so many secrets, and especially since you're using a PC and relying on the PC uh, instead of a Mac, which, you know, a Mac just works, right? Everybody, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the one thing about this is that if Scott here, um, you know, deleted a lot, hadn't actually synchronized and lost files, I'm going, but how... I don't understand how in terms of losing the files, because if they're actually come from your iPhone and they are sitting in the cloud, you've got the sync pending. But if a sync is pending on your desktop, is that because you've actually put files from your desktop in there to sync up to the cloud? Then when you've deleted, it's then hasn't it moved well to the be. cloud and you've deleted the local files. Because to me, it's it's already up there. And when you're doing the sync, it's pulling it down, not going up not with, um, because with yeah. iCloud I don't know if that's because iCloud actually puts it to the, the local drive first and then syncs it okay so it, it, it what I'm the re, I'm saying that from the PC you know when the PC does it it puts it to the, just like OneDrive puts it to the local mm -hmm. cache and then it syncs it but you're absolutely right with the iPhone mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. can actually select you know mm -hmm. if it's like, mm -hmm. I'm assuming photos or whatever um, mm -hmm. You can actually select whether they're optimized or their original format and all these other mm -hmm. options that you have. Um, mm -hmm. And the iPhone actually won't sync if the battery is too low. Yeah. So my battery is on 45% or 40% and it comes up with a thing saying sync, uh, syncing paused due to low mm -hmm. battery. And I'm like 40, 45% and that's considered low battery. Um, yeah. Yeah. So once the, but once I plug it in, it starts so well, if it if it is estimating if it's a massive transfer and it's estimating yeah. that the transfer time will take longer than the battery life, that would could be run reason for it. But it, I mean, iCloud, in my experience with it, it's like I'm an iPhone user, and so I've had the yeah, issue same. where it, it happens is if it gets too full, you then can't move things in or off of it, yeah, and so that's yeah. an issue where that I've gone and expanded, paid more to get more mm -hmm. access. And so I'm just keeping more, uh, you know, uh, visibility of the active management of uh, of my iCloud maybe, accounds. Maybe the bucket's what's full. The, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. Or maybe your laptop's too full, so therefore it goes. Right. We actually can't pull this down, um, yes. and that's then going to be an issue. And so it's sort of do, getting stuck between the stuck between I the two. Of and part of the problem is to be able to move a file. I think that it has to create. Um, it has a, it, a temporary file to the temporary yes. files. So if there's not space yes. to add, to create the temporary files, then it can't move the space. So even though it looks like, hey, I've still got a, a couple gigs of open space, but if what mm -hmm. you've you grabbed and tried to move uh, is exceeds that space with the temporary mm -hmm. files, you'll never see that in the background. It just doesn't. But think work. about that. Think about that. I mean, if, if that's actually the case, then a lot of other things that she's doing should be popping up with, yeah. you know, can't save mm -hmm. this file, can't yeah. do this, can't do that. Because well, we all we all know the yeah. nightmare uh, mm -hmm. on the, well, at least I, I'm assuming you all do, but with Windows Server, when you ran out of space, you were like freaking out, 
because there was no way. I mean, it could impact other any, systems, other you apps. Couldn't right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't log in. Yeah, yeah. Got to a point where you couldn't even log in. Yeah. So well, so one one other problem I thought of too is that, and it could be that there's an update to the software itself, and so it's struggling because there's some change to the sync software. So that's why yeah. it's it's another rule of thumb when stuff isn't syncing. Um, like yesterday, there was a pretty major Windows update that went out, and I'm in there working in the morning. And I'm just like something's not working, and I'm able to do stuff. I was doing some meetings, but then I went in just like common things. I went and tried to open something up in Teams, and it wasn't opening. I'm like, what's going on? I have full internet. The browser's working. I'm running through, and I go down. I and I thought I'm just gonna restart my system, and then I realize, oh, there's changes. That are pending. There was a Windows update, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. similar to it being full. It just shut down other things. So make mm -hmm. sure that Windows it, things that are updated, and that also the iCloud, whatever the sync, the Apple sync product, is also up to date. Yeah. They, they and when you delete, if they've gone and done a delete of iCloud, what have you done in terms of the deletion? Of you know, is it a complete uninstall? What's been left behind in the Windows registry keys? I'm not technical, but these are sort of things that, in terms well, of the it, past, where you've if kind you of deleted, but if it's it. in, if it's in the trash, it's still yeah. there until you yeah. clean it. Yeah, like corrupting it, sort of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not an iCloud expert. I have no experience with iCloud, but if it was OneDrive. I would check to make sure I had space and that it wasn't dealing with a uh, file conflict that it was trying to sync. Yeah. So the one check, intervention. Check your phone to see if it really is deleted. You know, you're saying lost files. So is it really actually deleted? And if it's if it's gone from your phone, that means it was syncing. Because if, if you deleted it from your desktop, it's then going to sync to the cloud to remove it from there. So it was actually working and maybe it was just going really slow because you got a lot of content. If it's still in the cloud, then it wasn't actually syncing. If you had it on your desktop and you were dropping it into the folder and then you've deleted it, you've deleted your original files and you should have removed them from your iCloud first before you then got rid of your iCloud. <clears throat> One other thing I thought of too is that, and this goes back to my back when the OneDrive sync was struggling. Remember those dark days mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. had problems <laughs> and I lost a lot yeah. of a lot of yeah. files out there. Um, but where it would struggle, um, and then you try to 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 sync and do something else. And I, I I'm sure iCloud works in a similar fashion is to actually go and make sure that you are restarting the sync client. Again, if there's an upgrade or this is like another version of you, have you tried turning it off and on again? So don't just close the sync client, actually go in the system tray, right click and shut down the process or go in and look at, look at the running process of the desktop and control kill shift the, escape, bring yeah, up the can, yeah, yeah, taskbar. Right. And, and kill the actual process and restart that again, if something got stuck, um, but the most common thing that I found when you've got pretty full storage is that you've selected, it goes back to temporary files, temporary space. You've selected too big of, of a sync. If you're able to go and, and work with one or two files and move those and it's working fine, um, then you can move those down locally, delete it off of the iCloud, freeing up more space, take some more. It's a, it's a very manual process, but that's where Apple will go and then charge a bunch more to buy additional storage and then it suddenly yeah. starts working again. Yeah.